Hi everybody, welcome to Mastering Solutions where we're taking the stress out of science classes. This question tells us that a building is oscillating back and forth during an earthquake and wants to know what the maximum displacement is and what the maximum velocity and acceleration are. So first I'm going to draw a little picture just so we can kind of see what's going on. They have a building here and the building of course is shaking this way and that way at the very top during an earthquake. So they tell us that the building has an amplitude of 28 centimeters. So it's going to the right 28 centimeters and then it's going to the left 28 centimeters and back and forth from this equilibrium point wherever that is or I guess where the building is stationary and upright. And they tell us the frequency is 1.4 hertz. So 0.28 meters for our amplitude frequency is equal to 1.4 hertz. Okay, so now they want to know what is the maximum displacement from the equilibrium of the top of the building. Well, that's our amplitude and they told us it's 28 centimeters. Now they want to know what is the maximum velocity at the top of the building. Well, we're going to use the equation V max is equal to 2 pi times your frequency times your amplitude gives us V max. So now we can plug it in. 2 pi times your frequency of 1.4 hertz times the amplitude of 0.28 meters gives us a V max of 2.463 meters per second and they want it in centimeters per second so we'll move the decimal place over two so that's 246.3 centimeters per second rounded is 250 centimeters per second now for the last part they want to know what is the maximum acceleration of the top of the building so for this part acceleration max is equal to 2 pi f squared times the acceleration. Now you may be thinking why do we have to find the the max and acceleration and velocity? Isn't it the same thing as just the same speed it's going the whole time? And that's not true because what it's doing is it's shaking over here to the right and then it's stopping and then it's turning around and the building is pulling it back this way and then it keeps going over here until the building the structure of the building stops it and pulls it back this way and so it's going back and forth and over here right where it stops and changes direction is going zero meters per second and over here it's going zero meters per second so the fastest point that it will be is right here at the equilibrium point whatever that speed is there is our V max and our acceleration max. So now if we plug in our numbers we have 2 pi times our frequency which was 1.4 Hertz and all that gets squared times our amplitude of 0 0.28 meters meters which gives us an acceleration max of 21.67 meters per second squared and they want that in centimeters so let's move it over two that gives us 2167 centimeters per second squared or 2200 centimeters per second squared Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe because every week we'll be coming out with more of your homework solutions.